Hello, and uh, welcome to Reels on Wheels. We're back. <laughs> Movies are back. Kind of. So this is a spouse yeah. edition. I have Nicole here with me. We were able to get away for a little bit, and we thought we'd see a movie. This will be... Thir 18 months? I don't know when the last time we were in I a know. theater. So, yeah, what are your thoughts about that? My thoughts on going into the theater? Yeah. Uh, I am excited and a little nervous. Um, we picked on the middle of the week when most schools are already back in session. So yeah. there's really, if you look at the parking lot, there's like eight, ten cars maybe. Yeah. Um, and there were no other seats taken in the theater when we purchased our tickets just a little bit ago. So, yes. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Obviously, still wearing mask. But I how think, do you feel? I think everything was uh, strategic too because we didn't go for the uh, big blockbuster film. Um, we're actually going to watch Don't Breathe Two. Yeah. We're watching a horror movie, and actually, the last movie we saw in a the theater, March of 2020, was The Invisible Man. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so we're coming back. We we wow. ended on a horror film and okay. we're coming back. <laughs> the last Reels on Wheels episode was with all the spouses was Avengers Endgame. And yeah. before that, Irene and I did Hobbs and Shaw. So we have been <laughs> gone for a long time. I think it'll be weird stepping into the theater. I'm still kind of nervous. I'm quite happy watching movies at home, but yeah. it, we, we've seen some good movies at home too. Yeah. We have that a new setup, so mm -hmm. it's been enjoyable. And yeah, so this will yeah. be a different. It's weird. It's going to be a different experience, even though this is something we used to do all the time. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Are you excited for this movie? I am excited. So we we're fans of the first one. Yeah, it was a, a yeah. We watched it a few times. Yeah, it's a pretty actually. scary, intense uh, yes. thriller. Yes. Uh, a home invasion kind of movie so yeah I i'm lots of questions i'm yeah less in like why did they make a part two <laughs> <laughs> like i i feel like they hit, said everything they needed to say yeah. with don't breathe yeah there wasn't much in the trailer that i saw you broke your rule you yes. watched the trailer and yes. well i yeah. i showed you the you trailer showed me the trailer yeah um, so um but there wasn't really much in it so there's lots of questions um yeah like how is he trustworthy with child <laughs> that's the weird like, okay what? so yeah there is like a child character in the movie and if you know anything about the first movie on like what he was trying to do mm -hmm. like that's kind of weird so i i i'm very confused at the trailer because i'm like is he the good guy now because he's a terrible character stephen lang's the blind man mm -hmm. is a straight up horror villain so i don't know what ooh, i don't know what to expect i think i read that they filmed this during quarantine Oh, nice. Like, they shot okay. the whole thing, didn't tell anybody. And then, uh, like, because, like, the first trailer dropped not not even, like, a month ago. And, like, now it's coming out or now it's out. Right. So the whole way movies are being released now and stuff is really kind of at a, a weird Wild West sort of um, uh, playground. Because, like, it's kind of, like, open game. Like Yeah, it's not typical. No. There's no, there's no cookie cutter... We no. need to do anything anymore. Right, because with streaming services basically releasing their movies on that platform, um, it's uh, they're trying to get as much money as they can during these times. Yeah. And so we are going to venture inside the theater. We're yes. going to mask up and ironically see the movie Don't Breathe, <laughs> uh, part two. And we will let you know how that goes. Yes. So, yes, Reels on Wheels is back. Yay! Kind of. <laughs> okay, welcome back. We did it! We, <laughs> we, we did, did it. it. And it's nice and bright out today. Yeah. Um, I think it was raining hardcore in the theater. Yeah, it really added to the ambiance of the movie. You know, a, a couple of things added to the ambiance, I'd say. The fact that we decided to keep our masks on the whole time sort of added to the i felt like added to the experience to the don't breathe yeah because it was like a thriller and there was moments where you were like holding your breath because it's oh, very yeah. very tense <laughs> yes and very quiet there was like 
really tense moments in the movie. Yeah, and then you would like exhale when it was over, and then my glasses would like fog up. Yeah, so, <laughs> so it, was it was like, like a, Ooh, oh no. Yeah, it was like a <laughs> overall like immersive theater going experience. Yeah. I think you have said that you had questions after you saw the trailer. What were yeah. those questions regarding well, Don't Breathe Two? Yeah. <laughs> Um, I just wanted to know where the little girl came from, who she was related to, okay. or how she was related to to him, mm -hmm. and like, like I honestly thought it was gonna be pretty much a repeat of the first movie, where like they're just breaking into his house, yeah, to, to like steal money or something. And uh, but it was not. It was not it that. Wasn't. So uh, was it a? Yeah, there's a spoiler okay. review. First movie back in the theater. Yeah. Was this a, a dud or was it a stud? <laughs> <laughs> was it a reels or was it a wheels? What um, do you think? G given everything. I would say it was a reels. Okay. I would say it was a reels. Okay. In the beginning, like there were moments where I was like, where they would like pan in on something and I was like, okay, like they're... <laughs> It's too much. Like it's too obvious where they're, they like pan in. Like oh. there was like the cooler in the truck and it's like... Okay, they panned right to that, so that means this. That means, yes. you know, and I was or like, that's be so like, lame. Or but like it was, the camera, oh, that's so funny a, that you mentioned that. Though. Because it was like, oh, well, like it was a fake out? You mean? Yeah, it was oh. a fake out. Yeah, but then there were some moments, moments where it was like, here's the weapon he's going to use. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, that part was kind of cheesy, some of that stuff. Yeah. Where I was like, really? Like, meh. But I understand they did a mixture of both. It wasn't like they're going to use that weapon every time or this is important every time. Yeah, it was, it was like There were fake some outs. fake outs. Okay. So it wasn't like so obvious where you're like, okay, couldn't you give it like some mystery for it to happen? But, yeah. So it was a good mixture. So okay. other, because at first so, I was like, this is, this is going to be lame. <laughs> when, oh, really? I did a bunch of them at the beginning. Okay. So I was and then like, it changed oh, your mind? Man. Yeah. I actually, I think I'm going to lean towards your side as well going into spoilers you find out that it's eight years later after the first movie and the blind man has a daughter and then she kind of is the focal point of the movie and she's probably the only redeeming character in the in the movie oh yeah because <clears throat> truthfully um Everyone's bad. There, it's it's like bad versus worse. It's weird. The movie yeah. plays with you in a sense where it's like they're trying to make you feel for this person, but if you if you know the history of the right. character, right. you know that he's a terrible person. Yes. The blind man is a terrible person. Yes. And so, what? How can they make you feel something for this character who's a monster, as he yes. calls himself in the film? Right. They throw in these meth heads and these tweakers who have a connection to the daughter mm -hmm. and they are real pieces of sh yeah. <laughs> yeah in a weird way this movie is asking you to root for the bad guy yes the worst guy like to almost forgive him because i had that yeah. moment where i was like oh my gosh like I hope he doesn't die. And I'm like, wait, but, wait, but wait, wait, wait. He's, he did a bunch of terrible shit. <laughs> he like, like, yeah, exactly. He's terrible. So it's, so it's so weird yeah. that the movie is playing with your emotions in yeah. that way. Where it's, it's, it's interesting. And then there's a hat trick that happens where you find out that the daughter of the blind man, supposed daughter of the blind man, was actually just a girl that he stole from a bunch of meth heads. He found her and rescued her because she, yes. in the beginning, you see that she's like coming out of a burning house and she collapses in the middle of the road. Yeah. And so you like think about, you think it's like his house from the first movie. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so then you're like, oh, so he's taking care of her now because it's eight years later. And then you find out that that was the meth house that was burning and he yeah. like found her and he took her home to like care for her. And raise her. And raise, but... He, because they had like the news on it so like it, he learned of the story of like the house that she came from and realized like oh she can't go back to that life so then he decided to raise her yeah basically. and you're like oh that's sweet but not He's really because he stole himself, a child but, yeah exactly. but then you meet you meet the child's actual parents right those are the people who invade the house right. And they're no, and they're not any better. They're no, actually worse they're because terrible. what you find out is 
when the meth lab burns exploded exploded yeah. the mom who is also these tweakers cook they yes. like she cooks the meth you find out that all the chemicals she inhaled is killing her body and so they actually kidnap the girl back not to reunite with the with family pretense. yeah with pretense that yeah. they want her back that she was stolen from them yeah she's our daughter that, we want her back so they go in and invade the blind man's house which is kind of a, a, a throwback to the first movie where it's like a home invasion although i was wondering how they knew that she was their daughter like how did they find out where she was who yeah. she was exactly it's eight years later so yeah. like um that, that's I had that true. one question. They don't okay. really explain yeah. that, which you know they don't have to. I mean, I they could have just been watching the house because that's how the the dad. Yeah. Because at first you meet the dad and you're like, oh, he's a pervert, but it's like, no, it's the dad. Right. And then it's like, we want her back, so they take her from the blind man to be a family. To be a family <laughs> but then you find out they're gonna kill her, take her heart, and put it back into the mom because she needs a donor. She needs a donor that's direct blood related, and this girl's the only family member they have and so. and the reason why that the reason why they need the mom alive is so that she can cook the meth again yeah. <laughs> it's so <laughs> up. It is, it is <laughs> so <laughs> at that point when you're introduced into this sort of second act twist yeah. i'd say because the yeah, movie's yeah. really short which yeah. is another plus on its side it I was think. nice it was a good good amount of time it yeah was like it was like nothing, 90 minutes yeah it, lean we didn't drag the lean is lean and mean because i would say it's um, a lot gorier than the first oh, movie. Yes. 100, and depending 000%. on how you, you like your horror, that is either a plus or a minus. Yeah, that was a little bit rough. I, there was, was a lot of like this, yeah. seeing a little bit more than I wanted to see blood-wise, <laughs> gore-wise. Yeah. Like, it's not just like, oh, they got shot by a bullet and it the no, it's exploded. like faces caved it's in like with shovels and hammers and like oh, yeah. multiple hitting and hits. and yeah and so you you get this reveal that it, uh, this kind of second act reveal leading into the third and final act because then the blind man goes and invades their home so you now know all the motivations and then it just turns into this really cool sort of uh, violent rescue and um you know i leaned over to nicole at one point and I, I told her i was like this girl doesn't deserve any of these people they as, don't deserve her yeah like she's better off on her own yeah and thankfully that's the kind of resolution we get all that to say i think there are a lot more positives in this experience than negatives because mm -hmm. the negatives for me are like I think the movie's unnecessary. They didn't have to make a sequel. No. But I they think didn't. they like the character so much. Yeah. The Stephen Lang's the blind man. I think he's such a cool character. They just wanted to see him on screen some more. Yeah. But I mean, they, they really gave him more a little bit more of a backstory. Just a little bit. Tiny bit. Like, like snippets. Where it's like he's a Navy SEAL and we're like, oh. That's how and he that's, knows all <laughs> that's it. <laughs> like, oh, well that's how yeah. he knows how to kill people. Right. Yeah, they don't really like further his story because you're kind of like you kind of jump in at a point where it's almost the end of his story because he's like hey he successfully stole a child and is raising this kid he's also teaching her how to defend herself yeah that's true <laughs> and that comes in handy at the end for her it does so um so in that sense like i don't think the movie's super necessary i'm glad that they did make it because it's actually quite enjoyable it's a little gory i do like certain things i like the camera movement it's very atmospheric mm -hmm. there's like a really cool scene with um where they use like a lot of uh like insect spray and like he kind of hides inside the the fog of it yeah there's all kinds of cool stuff in the movie um i just didn't think they needed to make it but they did and i'm actually kind of glad that they did yeah when i like when i decide if something's a reels or a wheels it's like do I wish I had that time back? And like, <laughs> I don't feel like I wish I had this right. time back. So but, that's but, what I would say it was a real. And I think it's also like a bunch of factors of like the fact that we it was our first time back yeah. in a movie theater. <laughs> so I think we were extra amped. Mm -hmm. um, there was only three other people in the theater. Right. 
and, and they uh, were not close they were not really close by mm -hmm. uh the fact that we decided to keep our masks on yeah. led to a more enjoyable viewing experience because it felt like it felt immersive yeah oh and it was like storming crazy while we were in the theater so we could hear it hitting the, the yeah. roof while the movie was going and it was like scary part so it kind of just added to that ambiance yeah too. i think there's enough of it in its favor that i would consider it a reels um, I think if you're a fan of the character of the blind man and if you're a fan of the first movie, there's a lot here for you to enjoy. And it, it wasn't disappointing. It was actually pretty thrilling and it just made you feel weird about it because you're like, <laughs> yeah. oh, I want this person to kill this other person because they're more terrible than this person. Right. But they're all, they're all terrible. terrible, except for the girl. She's right. kind of like the... Uh, She's kind of like the, the, the glue of everything. She kind of holds it together. It's almost like they're yeah. fighting for her innocence because she's just like thrust into this weird situation. I say yeah. bring on Don't Breathe 3 <laughs> if there is going to be one. Yeah. But um, There is a post-credit scene. Yeah, so and, and it, it kind of uh, alludes to that. It was good to be in a movie theater again, I think is the big takeaway. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. if you're a little like on the anxious side in terms of being out in public still, um, you can, there are ways you can strategically plan to go have a, a nice night out at the movies, yeah. I think. Yeah. Especially like for this movie, most people probably would want to see it in the evening time. So yeah. they knew that there would yeah. likely not be that many people anyways. And then with school starting. Yeah. And it's like a smaller a movie. Bit. It's not one that's really being advertised a lot. Yeah. Like you see Jungle Cruise, Free Guy, you know, all these big summer blockbusters and it was kind of cool to take in like a, a an indie horror film. Yeah. For Reels on Wheels, this has been Justin. And Nicole. And uh, we will see you at the movies again, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Who see knows? you there. We'll see you on another time. <laughs> Later, Jovens. <laughs>